Hi guys, WineTuber here and today I'm going to introduce you to the wines of United States of America. So, let's get started! Few fun facts before we start. Did you know that US is the fourth the biggest wine producer in the world? Wine is made in every single state of the United States, included Alaska. 95% of US exported wines comes from California. Did you know that one of the most expensive wine in the world, called Screaming Eagle, is produced in Oakville in Napa Valley, and the retail price is approximately $6,000 dollars per bottle. In 1976, during the judgment of Paris tasting, two Californian estates, Chateau Montelena and Stack Sleep Cellar, won the blind tasting against famous Bordeaux chateaus, included Chateau Lafitte. Have you ever wondered what AVA stands for? It means American Viticulture Arias. AVAs are legally designated wine regions that have unique geographical and climate conditions. There are over 260 AVAs in 34 states and still counting. Top 5 most planted grape varieties in the US are definitely Chardonnay and Cabernet Sauvignon, followed by Pinot Noir, Merlot and Zinfandel. There are also two quite important grape varieties, which is Syrah and Sauvignon Blanc. The most important wine states of the US are California, Washington, New York, Oregon and Texas. However, California produces over 85% of all US wines. There are five major regions in California. North Coast, Central Valley, Sierra Foothills, Central Coast, and finally Southern California. The most important region of North Coast is definitely Napa Valley, where the best examples of Cabernet Sauvignon and rich Chardonnay can be found. Great Pinot Noir and Chardonnay are also produced in Corneros and Sonoma. One of the finest Pinot and Chardonnay can be also found in Russian River Valley. If you are a Cabernet Sauvignon lover, another great examples are made in Alexander Valley, and the high quality and elegant zines are made in Dry Creek Valley. Lodi is the most recognized region of the Central Valley. This part of California is the homeland of rich and smoky Zinfandels. Central Coast is 300 miles long and one of the most diverse wine growing regions in the US. The top parts of the Central are Santa Cruz Mountains, which is the coolest Cabernet Sauvignon production region in California. In Monterey, Chardonnay is the predominant variety in the region. Finally, in Paso Robles, we can find some great GSM and Ron Valley blends. They're absolutely amazing. The Washington state, not the DC, is the second largest wine producing state in the US, with over 1000 wineries, 80 different grape varieties and over 20 different AVAs. The most important grape varieties are Cabernet Sauvignon, Chardonnay and Riesling. The most important AVAs of Washington state are Columbia Valley, the largest regions of Washington, producing some stunning Cabernet and great Riesling, a fantastic Riesling, by the way. Yakima Valley is the oldest AVA with some stunning Chardonnay and also great Cabernet and Merlot blends. And finally, Valla Valla Wally, kingdom of the red grape varieties and especially Cabernet Sauvignon, Syrah and Merlot. The next wine state is Oregon, which is divided in between North and Southern Oregon. In the North part, the leader is William Made Valley, with more than 500 wineries that produce a world-class Pinot Noir. This region is divided into 11 smaller AVAs, and each of them produce a high-quality wines. Here are my three favorite ones. Dandy Hills, 
Eola Amiti Hills and Ribbon Ridge. Southern part of Oregon is very well known of making some stunning Cabernet Sauvignons, Syrah and really elegant Tempranillo. The two regions that you should know are Rouge Valley and Apple Gate Valley. New York is the fourth largest state in the US in terms of the numbers of wineries and it's located in the northeastern part of the US. The four major wine regions are the Niagara and Lake Erie, Hudson River, Long Island, and it's not a drink by the way, and finally the most important area of New York is the Finger Lakes AVA. Some especially fine reasoning can be found here, along with some great Pinot Noirs and interesting Cabernet Francs. Texas wine country is the most visited wine regions in the US and also the fifth the biggest wine producing state in the country. Two of the most important AVAs are Texas Hill Country and especially Fredericksburg. The key grape varieties growing in Texas are Cabernet Sauvignon, Chardonnay, Chenin and also Sauvignon Blanc. Thank you for watching, don't miss out my next video about top 10 selling champagne brands in the world and more importantly about the top 10 cuvées, their top 10 wines that you should know. So stay tuned, don't forget to subscribe and see you next time!